Welcome back, everyone. This is our Looking at the Charts report. My name is Angelo Zittis. Today, we'll be looking at four charts. First, we have the Euro GBP. Second, we have the AUD USD. Third, we have the USD CHF. And fourth, we have USD JPY. Moving first to Euro GBP. Now, for the Euro, today, the financial releases regarding the inflation data from Germany stand out as the figures remain steady for March compared to the slowdown from February. Not much reaction was seen upon release, however, hopes for bottoming out seem to emerge. On the GBP side, the United Kingdom's novel coronavirus outbreak is starting to peak, but it is too early to lift the lockdown where some of the remarks made today. Now, the pair has been moving in a sideways motion between our R1 0.8725 level and our S1 0.8702 line since the 15th of April. If the pound is to weaken, then we could see the pair surpassing our R1 with the possibility of reaching the R2 0.8745 level that was tested on the 15th of April yesterday but not breached. A move even higher for the pair could see traders aiming for the R3 0.8765 line that was tested many times on the 13th of April as a support level and was eventually broken to the downside. A breach of this level may be proof the pair has moved in a bullish momentum. However, looking at the big picture, the pair remains in a selling momentum since the 19th of March. Even though some stabilization is evident, we would need to see all our resistance levels to be broken in order to change our view. Downward levels, however, are the S1, as mentioned before, tested many times since yesterday, but not breached. Lower, we have the S2, 0.8686, last tested on the 14th, but not breached. And even lower, we have the S3, 0.8670, last seen on the 9th of March. The RSI indicator below our chart is currently running on the 49 level, probably confirming the sideways movement we are currently seeing. Moving to AUD USD. For AUD, today we saw the employment report for Australia being released in the Asian session. The report, despite negative forecasts, came out better than expected, which could ease some uncertainty for the time being. However, we would advise traders to watch out for Chinese GDP data to be released on Friday in the Asian session that could prove to be a mover for the pair. On the other side, USD pairs in general could be affected by financial releases in the US, so traders should act with caution. We start with a bearish scenario. We have first the S1 0.6280 that was tested today but not breached. Lower we have the S2 0.6180 level and even lower we have the S3 0.6075, both levels last seen on the first 10 days of April. Please note the pair has been moving higher since the 18th of March but remains very sensitive to Chinese economic data. In any case, a move higher could send the pair above the R1 0.6385 line with the target possibly being the R2 0.6490 initially and even higher the R3 0.6615 level. As we said, the pair is currently moving higher since mid-March but gradually with small setbacks. Moving to USD CHF, some analysts believe the CHF is backed by a solid economy with a healthy credit system and stands out compared to other European countries. Now, the Swiss National Bank said last month it sold francs more aggressively in the foreign exchange market to keep the value of the currency low. So even though the safe haven nature of CHF is always present, we do not see the same action as JPY. Today, the pair constantly tested the R1 0.9677 level, but did not manage to clearly breach it. Above the R1, the pair could aim for the R2 0.9695, last seen yesterday on the 15th of April, but the pair eventually moved lower. Finally, we have a strong R3 0.9720 level that was tested many times on the 9th of April. In the opposite direction, if traders are willing to sell, we have first the S1 0.9642, which the pair used as a stopping point yesterday in the US session. At some point in the same time frame, the level was breached and the S2 0.9620 was briefly touched, but the pair corrected back to the S1 level. Please note the S3 0.96 was last seen on the 14th of April and remains a possible level for an ultimate bearish scenario. Moving now to USD JPY for our chart, 
uh, things are not looking so good for the Japanese economy at the moment as most of the financial data released in April for the previous quarter were on the downside. Also, some analysts believe the stimulus package offered by the Japanese government is considered rather weak. The JPY has been stronger against the USD since late March as the safe haven demand has increased substantially throughout the coronavirus pandemic. Most of the pair's activity in April has been in a sideways motion between our R1 108.51 level and our S1 107.05 level. To the downside, the S1 107.05 was tested various times from the 14th to the 15th of April but was not breached. However, in case of a sudden drop, the currency pair could move towards the S2 106.41 line and even lower to the S3 105.75. In a bullish scenario, the first test could be at the R1 108.51 level, as mentioned, while even higher we could see the R2 109.20 coming into play as the level was approached many times from the 6th to the 9th of April. Even higher traders could be looking for the R3 110.05 line that could be considered a round number threshold. Now, as a closure, the looking at the charts report is designed for traders to balance between fundamental news and technical analysis. Yet, the decision of what works and what doesn't work is yours to make. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy solid trading.